Hey guys, what's up? It's Starkmech here and welcome back to another 2 minute tank guide for the Battle of Bizarre Allure, Alifar, Normal and Heroic. Today we're talking Mecha Talk. Now this is a pretty simple fight. Two tanks, three phases. Phase 1 and 3 are identical. Now you get a tank in the middle of the room. On Heroic difficulty, someone will get targeted with Wormhole. What they're going to do is they're going to run to the middle of the room as well and it's going to suck the raid to their location when it goes off. Biggest thing with this is it does affect you as a tank and sucks you in is that you just move out of anything bad. Now, three random players will get targeted with World Enlarger. This can happen to you as the tank as well. This reduces your damage done by 99% and you have to deal with the spark bots when you are a shrunken player. Spark bots will be dropping in throughout the encounter. When you get shrunk, you can run up, you can click and you can enter them. When you get inside them, there is a control panel with colors. You need to go through a sequence of pressing those colors and then explode your robot. Now on normal difficulty, anyone can assist you by calling out the colors of your bot. They'll be above your head. On heroic difficulty, however, only the shrunken players can call out the other shrunken players' colors, so you need to be vocal with this on Discord or whatever communication you're using. Now, tank swap wise, you're going to be swapping at five stacks of Electroshock Strike. It's a building buff that builds up on the boss and it resets on melee swings. You want to dodge the Buster Cannon it'll be shooting out. It's a big blue Mega Man Beam. Move away from the boss when he casts Blast Off and when he casts Landing Zone. They're two clearly marked circles. If you get targeted with Gigavolt Charge, make sure you're using Line of Sight. Phase two is going to happen at about 40%. Mechatork is going to fly into the air. He's going to throw exploding sheep. He's going to uh, put out fire lines and he's going to be shooting on the ground. Just don't stand in the bad stuff. People will still be getting shrunk, so don't stand on them. You'll still need to be dealing with the spark bots and gigavolt charge will still be going off. So make sure you have line of sighting around the rocks as well. Phase three will start after 50 seconds of him being in the air and we return to phase one mechanics. That is pretty much it, guys. If you've got any questions at all, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. See you fam.